For health and longevity, we bring to you the dietary choices of three iconic celebrities, Cher, Barbara Taylor Bradford, and Jane Fonda. Unveil a common thread woven with intention and informed decisions. First in the list is the enigmatic world of Cher, where age seems to freeze and time takes a back seat. There lies a secret to her eternal youth, a strategic avoidance of high fructose corn syrup, HFCS. This Grammy-winning icon, known for her powerful voice and ageless allure, has embraced a dietary choice that not only resonates with her personal well-being, but also serves as a beacon of, of health-conscious living. Imagine stepping into Cher's world. Hi, Vogue. We're going to look through my looks. A realm where the melodies of her hits echo through the decades and where her radiant presence on stage defies the conventional march of time. Behind this enduring charisma is a dietary decision that revolves around steering clear of HFCS, a ubiquitous sweetener lurking in many processed foods and beverages. The introduction of HFCS into the food industry brought with it a wave of sweetness, but also raised concerns about its impact on health. Cher's choice to exclude this sweetening agent from her diet is more than a mere preference. It's a deliberate step towards avoiding the potential pitfalls associated with excessive HFCS consumption. At the heart of Cher's decision lies the awareness of HFCS's link to weight gain and obesity. Research has established a correlation between high fructose corn syrup and an increased risk of obesity, suggesting that the sweetener may disrupt the body's natural mechanism for regulating appetite. For Cher, this conscious avoidance translates into not just a svelte figure, but a commitment to maintaining a healthy weight profile over the years. Beyond the battle against bulges, HFCS has been implicated in more sinister health issues, notably insulin resistance. Cher's strategic omission of the sweetener aligns with a proactive stance against condition that could lead to type 2 diabetes. By opting for food without a high fructose corn syrup, she crafts a diet that supports metabolic health and potentially fends off the complications associated with insulin resistance. Cher's dietary choice also echoes a broader societal trend a collective awakening to the perils of processed sugars. As individuals become increasingly cognizant of the potential harms of HFCS, in the context, Cher serves not just as the entertainment legend, but as a wellness influencer, showcasing how mindful decisions about food can be pivotal in defying the norms of aging. Amidst her deliberate avoidance of high fructose corn syrup, Cher navigates a dietary landscape that complements her quest for longevity. She opts for fresh fruits, lean protein, and nutrient-rich vegetables, steering away from processed and sugary treats. Cher's commitment to health extends to minimizing her salt intake, a practice known for its positive impact on cardiovascular well-being. By shunning excessive salt, she aligns with a heart-healthy lifestyle that complements her broader approach to holistic well-being. Moving on, second in the list is the realm of Barbara Taylor Bradford's disciplined dietary choices. I'm very healthy. I eat carefully. I've got a lot of energy, and I've always had that mm. physical energy yeah. and mental curiosity. This acclaimed British-American novelist, revered for her literary contributions, has woven a narrative of wellness through her strategic exclusion of refined sugars from her daily fare. The crux of Barbara Taylor Bradford's dietary discipline lies in sidestepping the hidden perils of processed sugars. Refined sugars, often found in a myriad of packaged foods and sugary treats, have been implicated in various health concerns, ranging from obesity to metabolic disorders. By consciously eschewing these sweeteners, Bradford charts a course that aligns with principles of a balanced and health-conscious lifestyle. One of the primary adversaries of health in the modern diet is the excessive consumption of added sugars. Bradford's deliberate avoidance of processed sugars reflect the astute understanding of the detrimental impact of these sweeteners on weight management. Studies suggest a direct link between increased sugar intake and weight gain, as well as a higher risk of obesity. By excluding processed sugars, Bradford not only guards against unnecessary caloric intake, but also positions herself in the vanguard of individuals navigating the complexities of a sugar-laden foodscape. Beyond the scale, the avoidance of processed sugars holds profound implications for metabolic health. Bradford's dietary choice resonates with her awareness of the potential role of sugar in insulin resistance, a precursor to conditions like type 2 diabetes. Research underscores the connection between high sugar consumption and insulin resistance, making Bradford's exclusion of processed sugars a strategic move in safeguarding her metabolic well-being. The broader context of Bradford's dietary decision mirrors a societal shift towards sugar-conscious living. 
As more individuals recognize the pitfalls of excessive sugar intake, they're making informed choices to mitigate health risks and promote longevity. In the light, Barbara Taylor Bradford becomes not just a literary luminary, but a pragmatic advocate for health, symbolizing the quiet power of dietary decisions in the pursuit of a vibrant and an enduring life. Within the framework of her disciplined approach to avoiding processed sugars, Bradford navigates a dietary landscape that accentuates nutrient-rich choices. Fresh fruits, whole grains, and lean proteins become the cornerstone of her meals, standing in stark contrast to the processed and sugary options prevalent in modern diets. Bradford's preference for whole, unprocessed foods aligns with a nutritional philosophy that prioritizes the intrinsic benefits of natural ingredients over the pitfalls of refined sugars. As she forges a path towards wellness through sugar-conscious choices, Bradford extends her commitment to other aspects of health-centric lifestyle. Her dietary compass steers clear of excessive salt, a practice known for its potential impact on blood pressure and cardiovascular health. Last but not the least, third in the list is Jane Fonda's Dietary Decisions. I didn't think I'd be alive at almost 86 years old. A noteworthy exclusion stands tall, the deliberate avoidance of ultra-processed foods. This Hollywood legend, celebrated for her enduring vitality, exemplifies a dietary philosophy that sidesteps the pitfalls of highly processed food items, underlining the significance of the choice in the quest for sustained health and well-being. Ultra-processed foods, characterized by extensive industrial processing and the addition of various artificial ingredients, occupy a contentious place in contemporary diets. Fonda's intentional evasion of this culinary offerings align with a growing body of research linking their consumption to adverse health outcomes. Such processed foods often harbor elevated levels of sugar, unhealthy fats, and additives contributing to concerns such as obesity, cardiovascular issues, and metabolic disturbances. A key focal point of Fonda's dietary strategy is steering clear of the long shelf life, allure of ultra-processed foods. The principle underlying this choice is a recognition that the convenience of extended shelf life often comes at the cost of nutritional value. Studies have indicated a correlation between the consumption of ultra-processed foods and an increased risk of heart conditions and strokes. Fonda's avoidance of these dietary culprits position her as a proponent of food choices that prioritize freshness and nutritional integrity. Beyond the immediate health implications, Fonda's aversion to ultra-processed foods reflects a broader narrative of informed and mindful eating. I, when, when I was in my 40s, I wrote a book because I was aging and I wanted to understand. So when I want to understand, I write a book up so I have to research. Yeah. Her choice echoes the sediments of nutrition experts who advocate for whole, unprocessed alternatives, emphasizing the intrinsic benefits of natural, nutrient-rich foods. Fonda's nutritional compass gravitates towards fresh produce with a limited shelf life, her breakfasts feature slow-cooked oats, smoothies, and natural sugars, and a penchant for fresh, seasonal fruits. Lunches adorned with colorful vegetables and lean proteins mirror her commitment to balanced nutrition. Fonda's dietary canvas extends to dinner, where lean meats, whole grains, and steamed vegetables take center stage. Her avoidance of red meats and fish, a conscious choice grounded in environmental and health considerations, underscores a holistic approach to dietary well-being. If you're searching for health, longevity, and the pursuit of a vibrant existence, these celebrities impact a timeless lesson. Every choice matters, and a healthy lifestyle is the sum total of those choices. Thanks for joining us on this insightful exploration of health and longevity. Don't forget to hit that like button, share it with those seeking inspiration, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Ring that bell icon to stay updated on our latest releases. Your support fuels our commitment to bringing you meaningful insights. Until next time, live well and thrive.